Here's the solution to number 9 of chapter 4. So we're asked to find the sum of squared deviations, variance, and standard deviation for these four scores. So it's a sample of four scores. So we're going to set it up in this way where we list all our scores beginning with 7, 4, 2, and 1. And to calculate SS, or the sum of squared deviations, using the computational formula, we say that SS is equal to the sum of x squared minus the sum of x squared over n. And so we can start replacing variables of things that we know. And at this point, all we know is sample size. We know that we're working with four scores. So I'm going to enter that here. And then I'm going to set up placeholders for all the other variables that are missing. So in the parentheses, we see that we have sum of x. So I can take the sum of x here. And the sum of x is equal to 14. So we can enter that here. And then we just need to square all our x values, which is what this tells us to do. So 7 squared is 49, 16, 4, and 1. And now we need to take the summation of all our scores that have been squared. So in your calculator, um, enter 49 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1. And you should get an answer equal to 70. We can use that value to replace this variable. And now we say that the sum of x squared, or the summation of all x values that have been squared, is equal to 70. So SS is equal to 70 minus, we're going to, in our calculators, enter 14 squared divided by 4. And that should equal 49. So 70 minus 49 gives us a, an SS value, or sum of squared deviations, equal to 21. And we take this step by step, so we know that the sum of squared deviations is equal to 21. Now that enables us to compute the variance. Again, recall that we're computing the variance of a sample, so we're going to use the equation that says variance is equal to SS over N minus 1, so that we produce an unbiased statistic. So that would be 21 minus, excuse me, divided by 4 minus 1, which is 3, and that gives us a variance equal to 7. And now, recognizing that that value is in squared units, we want to bring it back into its original units. So we're going to solve for standard deviation, and standard deviation is equal to the square root of our variance, which means we would take the square root of 7 and get a standard deviation equal to 2.645. And again, recognizing that we're instructed to round um, two decimal places. So we use this value here, right, to determine what to do here. So our final answer would be the standard deviation is equal to 2.65. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.